WandaVision episode 9 is almost here and Disney now with a massive captivated audience looks to close out this incredible story for WandaVision and the big question is will fans be satisfied with the ending we get and with the reveals that are given and so this will be much like a lot of our other preview videos where we will look into all the different aspects of the coming episode but fair warning there are some leaks out there for the finale which we will touch on in the back half of this video Video. What's up, everybody? It's Josh. Welcome back to the channel. Smash that like button. A big reminder, a large part of what the Denim Nerds is doing moving forward is happening over on our live streaming channel. And I mean, we'll probably be talking about WandaVision and just the MCU in general on that live streaming channel so much in 2021. You're definitely going to want to go check that out. I'm going to take a look. Okay, so yeah, we are going to get into spoilers later on in the video and some of the leaks that are out there, which I actually do think are real, which is insane. But we will give fair warning before that. So the first part of this video is going to work for everybody regardless of if you want to get into spoilers or not i would recommend not looking at the comments though etc etc now the big thing with this episode and the discussions being had out there online are all about whether or not this episode will satisfy fans wandavision if nothing else has been a sort of domino crescendoing effects of crazy reveals that also bring with them even more questions at this point we're curious about so many different aspects of this show that it's hard to list them all but with only a 50 minute runtime happening for the finale and not the two hour finale that was rumored, man, I got caught believing that, man. Fanboy dreaming. Fans are just worried. There's not a lot of episode and a lot of questions to be answered. And I find this really funny because we did a video talking about this, but we were joking about this, like, will fans be disappointed or whatever? But then literally the director in interviews the following day indicated that he knows fans, especially some fans that have certain theories, will be very disappointed in the finale. But yes, now we're going to start to trickle into some of the leaks that are out there. And really, we're going to speculate about what is going on in the episode. We're going to start Start with light spoilers and get to crazy stuff towards the end of this video but here's the thing guys we don't know for sure if this is real a lot of this stuff is popping up and then being taken down or being discredited or whatever now as i indicated on the live streaming channel earlier today there's a lot of leaks coming out from foreign markets or basically non-english speaking markets and there's a whole new crop of like leakers and insiders that seems to be coming up online and some of these people have incredible track records some of them have been getting episodes completely correct all year long for WandaVision and they have said some interesting things about what is coming some of them seem to be new leakers we can't be sure about the validity of all of this but I will say we're in some new uncharted territory so maybe this is real maybe this is not real again my personal belief I'm 80% sure that this is true and the topic that we will go to first all has to do with Fox X-Men characters and Pietro. Many people have been curious about this Pietro or fake Pietro that was discussed in episode eight of WandaVision that's introduced in episode four or five. I can't even remember. But this was a crazy thing. Fans were curious, was this just a troll or is this an indication of something that's going on with the multiverse? Well, it is out there in leaks that at the beginning of this episode, you will see an interaction between Pietro and Monica Rambeau. And in this interaction, Monica Rambeau will be able to see the magic emanating off of the necklace that Pietro is wearing. And we will, as the audience, recognize this to be the same color of magic and form of magic that we are familiar with for Agatha Harkness. Monica's gonna break the the bracelet breaking the spell that controls Pietro and this is where it gets weird because Pietro apparently will ask Monica right away if she is a mutant and he will also indicate confusion about where he is at. Now, this doesn't prove that he is the Pietro from the Fox X-Men universe, but so far as we know, if he's confused and he's talking about mutants and he looks like that guy, it's a pretty safe bet that that is indeed the universe that he is coming from. And by the way, this actually lines up with other leaks that happened weeks ago from some Indonesian leakers that were saying similar things, talking about how Pietro will not be a bad guy in this episode and he will be joining the Maximoff family even after having that necklace broken and realizing he's not exactly the brother of this Wanda. Now, let's talk about the fact that Agatha is going to be taking on pretty much the entire Maximoff family as far as we can tell. And this would be the twins, Wanda, Vision, who's going to show up and help everything out. And then 
Pietro himself, who will actually be working with them as well and helping out. I think even Monica will be fighting against Agatha. Now, here's what's interesting about this. It's not perfectly clear what's going on here, but it would seem that Agatha is going to be powerful enough to maybe face off against all of these different people, which is pretty ridiculous. But this is likely because... Either the Darkhold itself is giving her crazy powers, she might be able to use chaos magic herself, or she is tapped into the power of Nightmare. Now, on a crazy side note, although it is not really in a lot of the different leaks, I personally believe there is something to the Nightmare and the fact that Wanda could still be dreaming or that some of what we are even seeing in the finale might not actually be real. I'm personally confused about this, but there's not enough evidence to pull any kind of concrete theories out. I just think Nightmare could be involved and that some of what is happening here could have to do with somebody being asleep or perhaps the infinity stones being broken allowing for nightmares powers to not just simply affect people when they are asleep something like that i feel is going on but frankly if agatha harkness is really going to be powerful enough to fight against vision wanda monica quicksilver and the twins and put potentially even Doctor Strange and another X-Men, which we're going to talk about in just a second, then who the F is this person? And is she possibly getting help from the White Vision? Now, here's something interesting. Vision on White Vision. It seems to be a fight that is inevitable. Some leakers talked about that prior weeks, although none of the new leaks specifically mention this going down. We feel as though this might be a thing, and there's still a lot of questions about who White Vision is. Is it a Vision character? Is it going to be a copy of Vision, or will it be Ultron or some other nefarious figure? Regardless, definitely looks like something crazy is going to be happening with that White Vision, but if White Vision joins with the Maximoff family, and it's White Vision, Vision, Wanda, and just all of those other people we just mentioned, all going against Agatha Harkness, then who the F is Agatha Harkness? Like, if there's not a Nightmare or Mephisto person involved, then this is just not going to make any sense to me. This is the most powerful witch I've ever seen. Okay, 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 okay. But here's where it starts to get even more crazy, guys. And this, I just want to give you one more spoiler warning. This is the big kahuna, the craziest thing, the thing that you will not believe, but is more and more looking to be an actual thing. And that would be that apparently a half hour into the episode, Doctor Strange will not only show up to aid our heroes, but he will be showing up with another five Fox X-Man, and it will not be Magneto, it will not be Charles Xavier, it will be Nightcrawler, and it will be the Nightcrawler played by Cody Smith McPhee, who played the younger version of the character in X-Men Apocalypse. Now, when I first heard about this, and we did talk about this on the morning stream, it seemed kind of loose to me. But apparently in the episode five breakdown that John Roca from Collider did on his uh, YouTube channel, he talked about the agent for the actor that did play this character in X-Men Apocalypse. He talked about how he needed to edit parts out of that episode, and now he understands why, indicating that, yes, indeed, there's more than just smoke and mirrors going on with this Nightcrawler thing. It is indeed going to be this guy likely playing Nightcrawler showing up with Doctor Strange. Now, this is what's really crazy. Apparently, the reason it has to be Nightcrawler is because of the teleportation in order to get into the hex, which I find fascinating because it would imply that something to do with mutants and mutants ability to use magic is the key to getting through some of the barriers that Wanda has set up. Traditional magic seems to have its limits in its ability to affect what Wanda is doing, but that's just a hunch I don't know for sure. Regardless, Doctor Strange showing up is one thing. Absolutely amazing. We've been anticipating that for a long, long time, but another Fox X-Men coming in and it being Nightcrawler, a fan favorite character that can do a lot of cool stuff. I mean, think about it. Feige is taking two of the most fun X-Men characters in Nightcrawler and Quicksilver, and he's going to bring them in to an episode of WandaVision that likely has massive amount of VFX. Like, am I crazy to believe that we might see Nightcrawler bamfing around and Quicksilver doing his thing and doing some ridiculous stuff to try to get everybody out of the hex. And on top of that, according to the leak, Nightmare will be revealed. And so it's not just crazy rumors. It likely will be Nightmare. And I'm still on the Al Pacino rumors, although I frankly don't know exactly how that could work. But I mean, frankly, I don't care. I want the X-Men. I want freaking Nightcrawler. That would be so incredible. And Doctor Strange and hopefully give some kind of an explanation for what is going on. This sounds nuts. And they still haven't leaked, apparently, all the craziness that will happen in the episode. And so, again, we don't know for sure. 
This could all be fake. It could all be just off by a little bit. And maybe other characters are involved. Or maybe it is Magneto or some other crazy stuff. But guys, I wanted to bring this to your attention because it's seeming more and more real. And it tracks with all these other leaks and rumors that we have heard. Now, for me personally, it does not detract away from my enjoyment at all to know this or at least think I know this. When I go into the episode, man, I'm going to be excited. And right away, by the way, we will know if this person is full of crap as he has indicated that the final episode will be titled The Universe is is expanding that's a weird title and if the episode title comes up like that on the uh, disney plus app holy crap we're gonna know right away that some wild stuff is coming including nightcrawler with dr strange that's bizarre as hell i'm here for it and i can't wait to make content talking about the episode right afterwards and then doing a ton of theory videos about what's gonna be spinning out from this episode and my final point here for the preview for the finale of wandavision is i expect regardless of whether or not this crazy stuff happens or even crazy crazier than this stuff happens that regardless we're going to be left with still some questions i don't think everything's going to be resolved you will still have questions you will still have mystery with what exactly is happening in the multiverse hopefully dr strange gives us some answers and some breadcrumbs to follow as we head throughout the rest of these disney plus shows including loki and falcon and the winter soldier but also as we head towards the rest of these films including dr strange 2 spider-man 3 etc etc let us know what you think about this preview we just did for the finale episode 9 of WandaVision on Disney Plus do you buy into these leaks do you not buy into these leaks and what do you think they could mean let us know your thoughts in the comment section below as I always say I hope you're having an awesome and a nerdy day and I'll see you in the next video